Hello, my name is Jeff and this is tutorial number two on making our login page that has validations and format checks along with interfacing with the SQL database to determine whether the person that's trying to sign in is a valid user and whether they've activated their account. As we go through, uh, we'll go step by step and you'll see how it's all done it's pretty straightforward so far we've created our form which is just basic HTML formatting but we have an action and we have a method that we have to fill in now because once somebody enters their information into this login form we have to do something with it obviously so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write our first little piece of PHP code we're gonna start with the opening PHP but then we'll use the PHP built-in variable of PHP self. And what this basically is, is it's saying that, of course, I need to not be dyslexic, PHP self. And then uh, we need to do our close tag for PHP. So within this action, we've created a little PHP line that says all we're going to do is we're going to take whatever we're doing we're going to do it on this page we're not going to another page to process the information we're simply going to run this page and we're going to write the PHP code up above this uh, doc type line that will take this information and manipulate it interface with the database do verifications and everything else well the way we're going to do that too is we're going to go working back with this page but we're going to do it by posting so our action is to operate within this same page and the method for moving the information to uh, the next step is we're going to post that information and then start looking at what we're going to do with it. So at that point we have our form which is done which we looked at in the tutorial one. What we just did doesn't change what it looks like. But now we know that we're going to come into this page and we're going to do a post and we're going to have to run some PHP code. So let's put in our PHP beginning and end so that we can write some code in between. Well, we know that the name of this submit button is login. So we're going to want to look for posted information as being part of the login press the button action. So by doing that what we're going to say is we're going to say if is set and the reason that we're using the is set is because within the PHP uh, structure if you want to be able to you actually when we're done with this form you'll be able to turn in on all the error reporting you'll get no warnings you will get no errors but it's definitely got to be followed through with the overall PHP structure that they require in order to do that so we're posting and looking to see if this particular item is set and what are we looking for we're looking for login so we'll just simply put that in here and say so now all this is is saying that if somebody press this login button I want to recognize it but underneath that we're now going to create an area for doing something once we recognize that it's log uh, that the login button has been pressed and what is that that we're going to do we're going to set a couple variables number one and one of those is going to be the login username and we're going to make that login username equal to the posted username. So if we do this and we simply take a post semicolon to close the line, but this is what we're going to be looking for and defining as that particular item. So login username equals the posted username from the form. Very simple, very straightforward. Now comes a couple other little things that begin to do the validations of what's in that 
input box. So the first thing I guess we have to ask ourselves is when that gets posted, what are we expecting to see in there or what are we restricting the username to be? So many letters, so many words, uh, I mean so many numbers, uh, total characters, whatever the case may be. In this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to first though start out by saying if this username has been set, we also want to know that we're not going to start running code that has no information. So if the is set for our variable login username, and the login username does not equal empty. And we'll close the parentheses there. So in here it's saying, okay, is it set? Did it get did this thing get set by some post? If it did, great. We want to know that it was set and we want to know that it's not empty. If it's not empty, then we're going to have to do some actions. And what is the actions that we're going to do at that point? We're going to make sure that what is in that input box and what has been posted meets the formats that we require. <coughs> Excuse me. As simple as that. So our format is going to be using the pregmatch uh, function of PHP. So if the preg match then we're going to do something else else Else, we'll do something else other than that. Simple as that. Very straightforward. I'm sure you guys have all done the basic if structures. We're not here to talk about the uh, if and else structures. We're talking about creating this login form. But with that said, now within the preg match, we are going to talk about what we need to do. Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to define what it is that we're looking for. So within these two uh, semi uh, or within these two quotation marks, the first thing is is we're going to define that we're starting with this beginning line. That's the designator in the preg match. You can look this up in the PHP, but that's starting line. We're going to have zero to nine. We're going to have lowercase a through z. We're going to have uppercase a through z and we're going to allow an underscore inside our uh, inside our username structure. But that's not all we're going to do. We're saying okay it's got to be a number, it's got to be a letter, it can be upper or lower case, but we're also going to say that we want it to be between 7 and 15 characters long. So six characters is un unacceptable, 16 is unacceptable. We simply want it between seven and 15 characters. Then we're gonna close out and say that now that at that point, it will be the end of the line. So we've created our look right here of what we're trying to find in our input box. We're now gonna put a comma and say, this pertains to or this is connected to the login username is what we're trying to validate and that cannot be equal to zero. So if it's uh, if it's not equal to zero okay which means that there was some error found, 
we are now going to say, okay, if you do that, then our error, our error login username equals some statement. And this is going to be our error message. In that case, we're going to say this user must be between the uh, 7 and 15 characters like we had set up our structure to be. And an underscore. So that's the error message that we want to display if it does not meet the criteria of our preg match. We're going to move on to uh, tutorial three and keep right on continuing here. I'm just breaking these things into 10 minutes, so I may not always get through a complete section because I am taking it a little bit slow, hoping that uh, everybody will follow along and learn. So this is Jeff, and I'll see you in tutorial three.